this night. A night of champions as the boxing world celebrates the achievements of Paul Ingle at his benefit evening. Paul Ingle retained his world title at New York's Madison Square Gardens back in 2000. He was regarded as one of Britain's best ever champions, but his next fight in Sheffield would be his last. A brain injury forced him to retire and has severely affected his health ever since, but his fans have never forgotten him and came together in his hometown of Scarborough to pay tribute to the man known as the Yorkshire Hunter. Here's our sports correspondent, Paul Burland. <laughs> Flanked by world champions Nigel Benn and Steve Collins, Paul Ingle entered the spa in Scarborough as he entered the ring in his prime. Among the hundreds of guests were some of his former opponents, who he regarded then and now as his friends. It's just nice to see them all, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people I know, I've up the name and been that long. It's just nice to see all the sporting people here, and the celebrities, you know, as well, who's come on to me fine. You know, it's just nice to see everybody having a good time as well, it really is. Paul was my last fight at the old Barbican Centre in York, and um, obviously since the accident we, we've, we've become closer, we've become stronger, and uh, you know, we're very good friends, and uh, hopefully tonight will be uh, a night of significance in his life that will raise a, a fair bit of cash for him. Ingle was the IBF and IBO featherweight champion of the world. Always an exciting fighter and with a stellar future in front of him. Tragedy struck, though, in December 2000. He suffered a blood clot on his brain against Embulelo Botila. Since then, he's made a steady recovery, but has been unable to keep a job. Who looks after boxers nowadays? No one looks Unless the boxer takes care of himself, no one looks after him. So we're here to support our own, you know. Unfortunately, you know, there's no real great support from the uh, people who make a lot of money in boxing, which is the TVs, the managers of Morris. Um, it's not that they're not willing to do it, they are willing to do it, but there's no system for them to do it. I've never seen a fight and move at his pace for 11, 12 rounds, just keep going, keep going. You know, he's a good guy, uh, watch spots, I really thoroughly enjoyed him, you know what, i show my support for him. More than £15,000 was raised from the night, which included an auction of boxing memorabilia. But it's not just the money that will help Paul. The night served as a reminder that he was a true champion, respected by his fans and contemporaries alike. Well, John